Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless. <clears throat> ah, man. You might have to put up with my coughing a little bit. <clears throat> Just a little bit on this episode as I, uh... Oh, dear. Continue fighting off uh, the last of... The last of my cold. It's almost gone now, probably for sure. Totally. Totally definitely for real this time, but, you know... Much like myself, my colds are usually quite tenacious. But anyway, yeah, we're fighting a quill shot, or not a quill shot, we're fighting a dead eye today. <clears throat> oh dear, get, get out of there, get out of there. It's, uh, been made my understanding that, I guess, uh, quill shot weapons and stuff are, oh dear, possibly some of the most, uh, the most efficient items for causing damage. You kidding me? That actually hit me from all the way over there? I'll be honest, I sometimes find the quill shots, uh, like actual, I guess, like damage hitbox is a little wonky sometimes. I was actually fighting him just a little bit before starting this recording. And, eh, he was okay that time, but, which I guess is probably an indication that, you know, that hit I just took is like literally a me problem rather than, you know, anything else. But, <clears throat> I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and blame it on. Wait, why did that one do much less damage than the other one? I clearly didn't uh, time it right. Oh, come on. Come on, Gaslight. That's just embarrassing, really. I mean, uh, things were looking good until I let myself get whacked a bunch of times. That was, you know, much, much less good. But, you know, life goes on and we'll, uh, we will carry on the fight one way or the other. Oh, as one does. That was less, less smart of me, honestly. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, the idea here is that, uh, you know, keep hitting the bad guys. I'm gonna save up my stuff. No, I didn't actually ask. It was, it was suggested to me that, um, like, this Deadeye stuff is good for damage, but I didn't ask whether that was, like, Deadeye armor or just Deadeye weapons. And apparently, if I want, like, some real tanky armor, I want Careback armor. Oh, get the heck out of there. Get out! Get out! Yes, light. Get out before it's too late. Oh, we're really, uh, really getting some damage in here. That's good. Well played. Well played. Oh, boy. I sometimes wonder why I bother with the healing here, considering the fact that it is really, really minor. But... I like it. I like it enough that I want to... Whoop, get out of there. I like it enough that I want to, like, actually keep, uh... Keep doing it. So... Or do I? Oh, is he running? Are you running? That jerk face had the audacity to run. Also, I can't believe I, I was down twice. Downed twice in... This one fight. Terrible. The first round of this fight, no less. Let's let the others heal up before possibly swiping some more healy juices for ourselves. There we go. Alright, looks like we each got a charge. I'm a bit more healed than I probably need to be, but... You know, how it is. I also really need more Duskweed. That's a big thing. Or just... Well, no, Duskweed. Because honestly, if we're being... 100% truthful here. We're not seeing Sky Blossom anymore unless we go back down to the lower tiers. And we're not going down to the lower tiers. Well, me, I mean, we might eventually. I mean, I never say never. It's possible we'll go visit the lower tiers. Because then we can, uh, you know, we're gonna wanna solo fight maybe some other things. No, no, get out. Ah, I overcommitted again. My classic perennial problem. 
overcommitting to the same uh, same heavy attack. Oh, we chucked off some some uh, some skills, by which I mean uh, I'll. Uh, oh god. Ah, dang, gummit. <laughs> Can't believe that jerk face actually hit me. Oh, come on. You know what? Fully sprinting is just a bad idea when it comes to those. I figured it would be okay, but I was wrong. And as soon as I'm revived, I am uh, definitely... Definitely charging up my... Uh, this thing again. Yeah, my lantern ability, which is... It's too weak to do anything actually useful, but... I, I feel like using it nonetheless, so I'm going to. Oh, God. Gotta watch those spikies there. Oh, hell no. I saw what you were trying to do, Quillshot. You're Madam Quillshot now, by the way. You, pro you could be a mister, but then again... Okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Please, please, please. Dang, gummit. Stop messing with me, quill shot man. Oh, for the love of all that is good and holy. I tried. I really did. I mean, if, if this falls apart, it's my fault for screwing that one up. But, uh, you know, life goes on. Sort of. I really need to just get the whole group uh, revive thing going. Okay, well. I feel bad for poor Chef Boy here. He's doing a good job fighting. But unfortunately, uh, you know, jerk face over here. Oh, wait, when did I get. When did I get revived? I'm an idiot. They used the group heal, didn't they? And I completely ignored that. Got all busy talking to myself here instead of paying attention to what the team's doing. That's gonna get the team killed, and I don't want that. I don't want the team getting killed. Ho ho! More spiky balls for me. I'll take that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this as well while I'm thinking about it. Guys, look at that. We, look at that. We've shaved his head a little bit. All his uh, spikes are gone. How will you ever be a man, spiky boy? Oh god. Oh good, we stunned him. And by we, I mean, you know, the more the more confident members of the party. All right, let's uh, lock it in. Wait for him to stop, throw it every bloody time. Oh god. That got out of hand really quickly, didn't it? All right. You suck, spiky boy. All right, I missed. Wait for it. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh well. We got the job done at the end of the day. It was not efficient and it wasn't pretty, but we got it done. And we've got time for another fight, so we'll do one more fight. A well-deserved E-Ray. But anyway, I'll see you in the next fight. Alrighty then, and we are back, and I, I think we're fighting a Scar and we're helping a, a lower tier player get some uh, experience. That is also a marvelous mustache. Right there. Anyway, so yeah, we're on a lower tier, so I'm actually gonna get a feel like crazy overpowered for once. Actually, what, what tier are we on? I don't actually know, but hopefully it's one that has uh, Duskweed on it, because I still need lots of the Duskweed. That would be nice. It would be nice, but, you know, whether we're actually gonna get any is another question entirely. My goodness, where where is all the duskweed when you need it? And why do you always only get duskweed like one at a time? Where is you get stuff like uh, your grace flower and your afer wisps, like you can get like two or three in one go. Like look at that, look at that, right there. It'd be kind of nice if, uh, you know, the same could happen with our uh, sky. Oh, Skarn, this is a Skarn. Is that like earth elemental? thingamajig. Oh, there's never a uh, Sky Blossom over there. I'm gonna slip on up here for a second. Because if I can't find Duskweed, Sky Blossom will have to do. 
<laughs> Excuse me again. Uh, I did see it up here somewhere, didn't I? Yes, there it is. Beautiful. Masterfully execute it right there. Alright, there's uh, three, three of the party members right on there. Good stuff. And let's see, what else do we really need? Not too much. Overall, I mean, we've got like more grace flowers than we're probably gonna ever need. Maybe. Magnetic flux, always, always fun. Also, look at this sweet careback armor. We are now perfectly impenetrable, possibly. <clears throat> or wait, was careback the one that gives me less health? No, Careback is the, like, super armor stuff. Wow, did I, we actually, like, shatter him already. Feels like he got shattered. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, so, we managed to do all this. This is some, you know, some good stuff right here. Oh, that was... That was some good stuff right there. But yeah. It's all coming together. This is like the, uh... It kind of surprises me, to be honest, that this should be the, uh, this should be the armor that, like, has high defense, because I'd figure a wasp would be, you know, kind of flimsy. But apparently, what do I know? Not much is the answer, by the way. And, uh, we'll want to go give Deadeye a look in order to acquire... Some, uh, some juicy stuff. The juicy stuff being... The, uh, the ever useful, ever lovely... Uh, what stuff is it? Damage! Heart damage! We want to be able to, like, brutally murder. And I do mean brutally murder. Okay, I missed completely on that one. Okay, let's- Oh! Right! That, like, thing giving me the extra damage on, uh... On, like, multiple repeated strikes. That was... That was in something else, wasn't it? Oh, get out, get out. He's- He's preparing something. I can sense it. Or he's just been stunned, never mind. Now he's preparing something. Also, I feel like something broke off him. Oh yeah, there we go. Excuse me, good sir. There we go. I mean, I might as well grab this just so I can, like, put it in. Or I could, I could break it down inside. Or maybe I'll even make the armor set one day. A man can really do anything he puts his mind to it. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's on my lantern. That's where that's coming from. Never mind. Also, I guess there must be something going on outside, as you might hear Ace bark in there. He's a little, uh... A little protective, really. I mean, which I appreciate. I always appreciate that. You can't not appreciate stuff like that, can you? I'm not sure if it actually matters uh, if we get the parts or not as well. I wasn't... I'll admit, I was, uh... I was reading a, an article during most of the discussion on what the next hunt was going to be with the party. I mean, you know, because the best time to read an important article about, uh, you know, political and social issues in Canada is while you're fighting or while waiting to fight and kill giant monsters. You know, perfect, perfect timing, really. Yeah. That's that's what I do with my spare time. I read I read about politics. Mostly because it it makes me laugh, it makes me cry, it kinda makes me wonder what the heck we're doing as a society. Oh boy. Like there's there's some funny stuff out there, man. And some sad stuff. But, you know. I like to stay on top of today's pressing issues, because that way, you know, when the older generation's like, Ah, you millennials, you don't pay attention to anything. You don't give a crap about anything but yourselves. I've never actually met an, 
a person from an older generation who's ever said that about me, but you know they exist out there. You hear about them. I've never met one yet, but I know they're out there. And I kind of look forward to meeting one one day so I can then, like, completely and utterly destroy that belief of them by, like, citing, you know, with perfect accuracy, you know, today's hot political events or just general newsworthy events and also not only, you know, know them, but know both sides of them and also know how to destroy any argument made against me, I guess, because obviously... You know, destroying people in arguments, most of which occur online in this day and age, is totally a, a valid use of my time and also not at all arrogant or narcissistic or any of the other less uh, savory things that people often associate with my generation of younger folks. Though I'll be honest with you, it, it ba I was actually entirely, I was shocked and in a, in a, in a fashion appalled when I found out I was actually technically part of what you would call the millennial generation. I figured it was like only people who were literally born at the turn of the millennium. But uh, no, it actually includes people in, I think as far back as like the 80s. And on that, that, that got me. Cause I, because I used to laugh at millennials and be like, ah, ha, ha, millennials, they're like a terrible generation. Totally proving that humans are garbage. Ow. I can't believe I'm taking this much damage on something that's like a tier or two below me, but you know, that's, that's where the fun begins. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. You now, then I found out I was a millennial and my life changed entirely as I realized, God, I'm like some kind of garbage person here making fun of my own generation. I mean, admittingly, I was making fun thinking it was someone else's generation, but, but still, Still, what does that say about me? But, uh... In reality, I think the most important thing to take away with from some of this stuff is that, uh... Like, there's just a lot of, uh... There's a lot of problems in, like, every generation. And... We're all kind of in this together. And instead of uh, laughing at one another and, you know, being like, oh, well, this generation is the generation that's like, represents like the downfall of Western civilization. You know, we should instead be like, you know what? We've got some problems and all generations have their problems. So instead of, uh, you know, tearing each other down, maybe we should be thinking on how we can build each other up. I mean, that's probably never gonna happen because no one likes to no one likes to admit they're wrong, but then again, could you imagine if that did happen? Are you actually gonna run away again, Mr. Uh, Mr. Squishy? He might. Or at least make an effort to run, run away. I'm really getting tired of letting myself get hit. Oh, get out of there. Well, I managed to avoid it this time. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Anyway. So, yeah, that's that. I mean, actually, in general, there's been a lot of uh, big stuff going around in the world lately, hasn't there? Or at least in North America, to be honest. To be entirely honest, even though I try not to think that way, most of my world, like my look at the world, is basically limited to Canada and the US. It's terrible, because there's a lot of important stuff going on elsewhere in the world, but I, it just doesn't come up that often. Which, to me, is probably a good indication that I need to look into better sources of information so I can be better apprised into what's happening. But anyway, can't believe I basically spent, like, what, the last second half of this entire video just going on about the news. That was really exciting. And that's where we wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.